Hey ladies, this is Mackenzie and I'm about to show you how to get this look using some of my favorite, favorite Revlon products. Now, the great thing about these products that I'm about to show you today is that I've used them in multiple ways. So, keep watching so you can learn some tips and tricks on how to get this summertime bronzy look that you can easily transition from day to date night or just an evening out with your girls. So keep watching. Hey ladies, okay, so let's get ready. First thing we're gonna use is our Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. And what this is gonna do is give us a nice base for the makeup to sit on and also help our makeup last through the day. It's like putting everything on a clean, smooth surface. Then I'm gonna take my concealer stick in medium deep and apply kind of like two triangles underneath my eyes. This is gonna give me like a, a base to start out with and smooth it out really well and blend with my finger to give me that pretty highlighted look in the middle of the face as well as cover up any dark circles or lines or blemishes that you're worried about. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my wet sponge and as you can see the wet sponge next to the dry one, it's expanded. And the purpose of this is to get our foundation to blend really well. So I'm gonna take the airbrush mousse foundation, be careful when you pour that on your hand. <laughs> Here we go. And take my sponge, dab it into the mousse foundation and dab it into my skin. When you press the foundation into your skin, you can build a more buildable coverage so that if you prefer more coverage, you can build more in. So you're gonna smooth everything in. It's so creamy, by the way, I forgot to tell you. Smooth everything on and you're good to go. Make sure you get that forehead, don't forget. And don't be afraid to bring your foundation down the neck as well to apply for even color. Next thing, this is actually a trick I learned from celebrity makeup artist Sam Fine, is you're gonna take a two-ply tissue and tear it to where you have one tissue sheet. You're gonna take the tissue and dab it underneath your eyes. This is gonna soak up any extra oil from the concealer that leaves those annoying creases under the eye. Finally, let's move on to our brazen eyeshadow palette. And we're gonna take the gold eyeshadow when resources are limited, we have to be creative, right? And I'm using this eyeshadow as my bronzer. So I'm just gonna apply in circular motions to my cheekbones and temples the bronzer. Do the same thing for the other side and apply down my nose and center of my forehead, basically where the sun naturally hits my face. Then I'm gonna take our Photo Ready Blush Palette in Peach, smile, <laughs> and then put the blush on my cheeks. This is going to give me a nice little rosy glow to complement the bronzer. Time to move on to these eyebrows. I know I need to get them done. Don't judge me. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to take my Color Stay Eyeshadow and Attitude, and I'm going to use the light brown brow shadow in there and use an angled brush to kind of fill in my eyebrows and make them shape and frame my face a little bit better. I'm telling you ladies, filling in your eyebrows can do wonders for your face. It's all about short brush strokes. Then I'm going to take my Photo Ready Eye Primer Pen. And the primer for your eyes is the same thing as your face. It's going to make your eyeshadow be more vibrant, stand out, be more pigmented, and have something to stick onto so it also doesn't kind of, you know, fade away throughout the day and have any creases in your, in your eyes. You're going to do the same thing for the other side and really blend it in well with your finger. Then we're going to take the peach color from our same brazen palette and put that on our lid. It's just a really soft pink and it works really well for daytime. It's going to go nice with our look. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and use the dark brown and bronzer and kind of mix those two together. It's all about customizing colors for your own skin color. So I'm going to take my fluffy brush and we're going to apply that in the crease of the eye. And what this is going to do is give us definition and kind of a nice sculpt to the eye. We're going to do the same thing for both sides. And you can always add more. So I would start lighter so that the eye isn't too overwhelming and dark for your daytime look. Then what I like to go back and do is take our highlighter with a fluffy brush and get underneath the eyebrows so I can highlight underneath and define and make the brow bone really pop out. Now go back and take your fluffy brush and kind of get it clean on your tissue where all the color comes off and blend. Ladies, I swear if you haven't learned anything from this video, learn to blend your makeup. It really can transform and make that much of a difference. So blend your shadow in together.
Then we're going to finish up with our 3D Volume Mascara. Do not pump the wand, FYI, because when you pump it, actually you pump air back into the mascara wand and it makes your mascara dry out faster. So we're just going to apply a couple of generous coats on the top lashes as well as your bottom. So funny when we always look so concentrated when we're doing our mascara. But that's not it! I'm going to take my emerald lash liner pencil, and this is a pretty emerald green color, and apply it on the waterline of my lower lash line. This is just going to add a nice little subtle pop of color to your lashes and your eyes, and really make things a little different. And that's what the finished product looks like with the liner. We're going to finish up our daytime look with a soft Creme Brulee Color Burst Lipstick. These colors go on so creamy on your lips. They feel very hydrating and the pigment is amazing. And to top it off, a peach color in Sunset Peach Color Burst Lip Gloss. This looks really nice over top to give you and finish that daytime look. But wait, there's more. Let's transition to night with a bright, fun lipstick. This lip color is so pretty. It's called Lollipop, and it's Color Burst Lip Butter Lipstick. And you're going to apply this to your lips. As you can see, it's already very pigmented. You can see it on my bottom lip. I really don't need a lot. But you're going to apply a couple of layers of this lip lipstick and then move on to your Hot Pink Rose Color Burst Lip Gloss. And um, ladies, listen up real quick. I am going to tell you a secret. If you want your lips to appear fuller, dab more lip gloss in the middle of your bottom lip, and this gives the illusion of fuller lips. Now, to sass things up with the eye, I'm going to take my black coal eyeliner and really get the rims of my top lashes on the outside. This is just kind of going to make a smoky effect. It smudges really easy, so just take your finger like your pinky and smudge the eyeliner into your lash line to give you a nice little dramatic look. But it's still subtle and sexy at the same time. Finally, let's end this thing with our bronzer brush and blend everything together. And there you go with your final look. Hope you guys liked it. Bye!